and uh, from Melody Festival into Eurovision. Uh, what was it for you with that experience in total? Um, it was two incredible weeks, two uh, very odd, very strange weeks. A lot of happened, a lot of things happened, and uh, uh, it was incredible to come down to Vienna and, and uh, meet the like twenty thousand fans and journalists coming there and. Uh, being part of that whole circus, it was, uh, no, I, I, I've always dreamt of Eurovision and uh, to actually be there and, and represent my country was was huge for me. Um, and also like, um, but but I, I, I would have thought that there would be more like hanging out with the other countries as well, but they were so, like every, every um, country was divided into different hotels so there wasn't that much hanging out um, which was unfortunate but um, no I really liked it and, and like the, third, the 23rd of May will always be like my uh, the most magical moment of my life and um, sitting on sitting on that stage having won the Eurovision looking out over a full Wienerstadt Halle and realizing that okay this, this this might be the start of something really, really good. And uh, you got pretty cl close in Vienna with uh, Guy Sebastian. Are you still in contact? Yeah, we are actually. We text, text each other come from time to time. And uh, uh, I'm hoping to go to Australia in January and do some gigs there. Uh, and hopefully with him as well. And Eurovision in Sweden is such a big thing. You're doing a six-week melody festival, and it's already a six-week tour for Sweden. It's like an Ireland for twenty-first century. And why do you think is it so? And why it's so big? Yeah. Um, because I don't know. It's something. Well, uh, it's probably definite, uh, definite because of, of, of ABBA, obviously, that they broke their big break was, was via Melody Festival and Eurovision. Um, but also because I think that Swedish, the Swedish network has done a great job with the competition and making it uh, really important, a really very, uh, very, very good TV production and uh, that also has a lot of impact on the charts. Just being in Melody Festival is a is a great stepping stone. It's a great way to get your music out there, and uh, um, the record companies really want to put their best artists there as well. And it's fascinating because Melody Festival is watched not only in Sweden but all over Europe mm -hmm. as well. And uh, I uh, do does SVT. Uh, uh, consults you in any way for the production of the next year region? Uh, no, not really. I think they, they know exactly what they do and uh, yeah, they did it three years ago and uh, so uh, no, not yet, not yet uh, at least. And uh, there have been a lot of rumors that uh, you're going to be a host of Eurovision. Uh, would you like to do that? Um, if I got the question, I would uh, be honored. Uh, it would be uh, one of those once once in a lifetime things, and uh, um, yeah, I think I would definitely say yes if I got the question. And uh, what would be uh, your role of you know, that you wanted to do? In it? Is it a green room or a general hosting? A general hosting, I would say. And uh, who would be your ideal co-host? Oof. I don't know. Um, I'm in love with Alicia Vikander, so I would say her. Uh, she's a Swedish Swedish actress. Um, but uh, I, I think that Petra did did a great job last time, and uh, um, I would love love her or Sanna uh, or Sarah, Sarah Don Finer to uh, to be the co-host. In that case, there are a lot of talented hosts in Sweden. We've all been fascinated by Petromada when she hosted only by one person the yeah. whole thing. 
Yeah, she did it. She was so great. If uh, you you are able to decide uh, which city would uh, host Eurovision next year, what would your choice be? Um, no, well, I think that uh, like uh, which city in Sweden? Yes. Yeah. Uh, since Malmo got it last time, I think that it's quite great that it is in Stockholm now, and. Uh, um, I think it's going to be really cool that they can use that entire area of the city to be the like Eurovision Village with Globen being the main main arena, but still having Tele4 to use and uh, uh, an exit and Horvath. Um, I think it's going to be uh, it's going to feel really big and feel really. Uh, um, no, it's going to be a good good Eurovision year. We're hoping, <laughs> and, but uh, do you have an idea for what will be used those arenas, like Tele2 Arena in Gaza? Um, for what purpose? No, no, I, I have no idea, but um, I'm hoping that they will do something to make it even like a bigger live event than just using Globen. Well, it's it's been a gr uh, great to have you here, and thank you very much. And can, do you have a message message for your readers at Weebly Blogs? Absolutely, I love Weebly Blogs, uh, and uh, had so much fun with Weebly Blogs during your vision as well. And I just want to thank you for uh, all your support and uh, uh, no for letting me do this. Thank you.